In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill shapes with color. First thing I'm going to do is open the file that I've been working on. And that is this DXF file that I converted from a, using Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to drag it onto my mat. And you'll see it has no color in it. And if I start to drag this, the parts are already separated. So I'm going to group all of this so that I can move it without distorting anything. Move it to the middle of my mat. And then I'm going to ungroup it again so that I can color the individual pieces. I'm also going to open the screenshot that I took earlier that shows the colors that I'm going to need. And I'll drag that onto my mat as well. I'll make it a little bit bigger so it'll be easier to see. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is choose the parts that need certain colors. For example, you can see this needs to be red. This part needs to be red, so I'm going to shift click. And then this needs to be red. So I'm going to go to my color, my fill color window. I'm going to click the eyedropper. I'm going to choose the color over here, and that fills in the colors for me. All of the rest of those pieces need to be in blue. So I'm going to click away and I'm going to click the pieces I need in blue. I'm going to shift click again. And again, I'm going to click the eyedropper. This time I'm going to go on the blue and that will fill in the blue for me. So you'll see that the letters here still need to be filled in. And I'm shift clicking the bottom portions of the letters. So it's going to be a little bit hard to get the top portions at the same time. So I'll do all of those. And I'll just click the eyedropper again, choose my color, and then I'm going to click away. And now I'm going to do the tops of the letters. I'll click the eyedropper and then I'll click the blue over here. Oh, there's a piece that I missed and here's another one. So I'll click the eyedropper and click the blue. There are some extra lines here. Let me see what happens if I delete them. Yeah, those are not necessary. Not that one, but this one over here. Same thing over here and this line, and this one over here, and this one, and that's it. So all my pieces are colored the way I want them. I don't need this anymore, so I can click it and delete it. I'm going to remove this square that we don't need, and another version of it, okay. And that's all my pieces done. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that my lines are the right colors as well. If I click the cut settings icon over here, there's an advanced option and that's where I can choose to cut by color. And you can see that the blue ones are already selected, are already defined as blue, and here is the red. So if I wanted to click, if I wanted to cut only the red lines, then I clear the check boxes on the blue, and you can see now only the red is selected. So that will cut out only the portions that are supposed to be red. You would put your cardstock or your vinyl down to match whatever color you want to cut. Then when you've cut the red portion, you clear that checkbox and then just check all the blue portions. And then all the portions that are blue are selected to be cut. And all you need to do is once you've selected what you want to cut is click send to silhouette and that will cut it out for you. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.